Hey guys, my name is Matimio, and today's challenge, a bunch of you wanted me to use the straw rocket for the engineer class as a primary weapon. So running around trying to take out infantry units, using it to take out enemy vehicles, tanks, helicopters, jets at one moment. I, I somehow take out a jet, it was incredible, and we'll get to that here in a second. But see if I can go on some kill streaks using it as a primary. And normally, I would not say that the straw is awful. I would say that it's easily one of my favorite weapons in the game. It's easily one of my favorite gadgets for the engineer class, but it's just simply not meant to be used in this fashion. Like, you're not meant to be trying to take out infantry players with it, and while it is possible, trying to take out a moving target, especially a moving infantry unit, is not an easy task, and that is easily why this was so challenging. And so the first thing that I had to overcome is that the straw does not have a very fast travel speed. It takes it a while for the rocket to reach its destination. And while normally that's not a problem, like normally you're trying to take out a tank that's a very slow moving target and you don't need to have it blazing fast. Like it'll eventually get there, the tank isn't going to be able to move or to try to dodge the rocket. Like you're going to be able to line up those shots and it's not going to be a problem. But when you're trying to take out an infantry unit that's zigzagging all over the place, that's where things become a little bit more challenging and more importantly, if you're trying to get into a firefight with said infantry unit, if it takes it a while for the for the rocket to reach its destination, that gives them plenty of time to kind of smack you in the face with a bunch of bullets and then you're taking a dirt nap at that point. And that right there is kind of the crux or the keystone of this challenge. Uh, there were a lot of moments when I would see an enemy, he'd be about 20 meters away, we glare at each other for a split second, maybe curse a couple of times, and then start the engagement. I would fire my rocket, he would start to shoot, and because the straw is so slow, before it reached the halfway point, I would be dead on the ground at that point. If he was competent, even if he was the, the worst battlefielder out there, there was no way I was gonna be able to win that firefight simply because the straw takes such a long time for it to reach its destination. And so the way I kinda had to work around this was I had to be sneaky. If I wanted to take out infantry units, I had to catch them by surprise. I had to make sure that they had no idea I was there because if we started this firefight at the same moment, or even if I got a split second on them, they would win that engagement nine out of 10 times simply because of the slow travel speed. Uh, and then on top of that, if that wasn't enough, I also had to deal with the suppression effect. Uh, you guys know suppression in Battlefield 4, while it's nowhere near as bad as it was back in Battlefield 3, if you're trying to be extremely accurate, which you need to be with the straw, if you're trying to line up and you need that pinpoint accuracy to take out an infantry unit at long range, once the suppression effect starts to kick in and the straw starts to sway, well, it's wire guided. So wherever you're pointing at, the rocket is gonna head in that direction. And so if you start to sway and it starts to, you know, deviate from where you want it to go, the rocket is gonna fly in a random direction and you're not gonna get that kill. And so it's for those two reasons why I had to play a little bit more sneaky. I had to catch my enemy by surprise because if they just kind of sneezed in my general direction, I probably was not gonna win that firefight. I'd either have to run away or just kind of accept my death. Uh, all of that being said though, I had a blast taking out infantry units. Snipers were probably the easiest of pickings, you just kind of have to aim at them, and because of the nice little wire guided system, you're pretty much going to get a guaranteed kill at that point. But moving targets were easily the most satisfying. Like, they didn't happen very often, and if they kind of zigzagged all over the place, it was almost impossible. But when you were able to line up those shots and take out moving targets and kind of slam the, the rocket in their face at the last second, there isn't many things cooler than that in Battlefield 4. Uh, I also had a lot of fun taking out enemy air vehicles, and I think this is what a lot of people would kind of claim the straw is all about, is mastering it, learning the mechanics, and then eventually getting to the point where you can start to pull off these amazing maneuvers and slam them into enemy helicopters and even enemy jets. I don't know how I pulled this off, but I was one of those players that somehow slayed an enemy jet pilot. Uh, I was playing on Gold Mode Railways, which is what you guys are seeing right now. I noticed a jet kind of making some strafes on one of our little birds, and instead of thinking, hey, that is never gonna happen, I'll never be able to take out that jet, I was like, yeah, he might go in for another run. He might try to do another strafe run on that little bird, and maybe, just maybe, if I put myself in a position where I can line up a shot, I can uh, take him out. And so I, I moseyed on over, lined it up, and at the last second kind of whipped it up and slammed it right into his face. And while the, the enemy kind of ruined it, they killed me like half a second after I was able to take him out, uh, I want to say it was at least 
somewhat skill that I was able to kill him. It was probably a lot of luck, but just the fact that I was able to take him out was just simply fantastic. Uh, but other than that lucky shot, I mainly just stuck with going for helicopters, be them attack choppers, little birds, transport vehicles. Uh, transport vehicles are always fun. They don't give you that instant gratification kill like they do with all of the others, but if you hit them, I don't know why this mechanic is in the game right now, but if you hit a helicopter and you don't get the flat out kill, it for some reason causes the vehicle to flip over. And so if the if the pilot doesn't know what they're doing, or even if they are experienced and they just get unlucky, it'll flip over, it'll plummet to the ground, you'll get that nice little fireball. And usually you don't get the kill, which kind of sucks, but just knowing that you were the one that launched that thing into the ground is always amazing. Uh, one thing I have noticed though, is that I am finally starting to feel confident with the straw at taking out air vehicles. When I first started using it, I had no idea what I was doing. I would toss this up in the air, I would just kind of fling them all over the place. It'd be a pretty much a flip of the coin, crossing my fingers that I would hit a target. And more often than not, I would miss. But every so often, I would land that shot. And it was that process, mainly of just me missing, but every once in a while, when I would nail the shot and I would take out the helicopter, my brain would start to make those networks. And, and because I was being proactive and because I was trying to learn, I slowly started to understand how the mechanics work and, I, and more importantly, the travel speed of the straw itself. And so if you are someone who wants to give this a go and you want to learn how to use this weapon, my main recommendation is to just use it as often as you can. Every single opportunity that you come across, if you see a helicopter flying by, if you see a tank, just use the straw. And if you want to take it a step further and you have a, a, a buddy who doesn't mind just supplying you with a bunch of ammo crates, have him toss one down and then just shoot at everything. It doesn't matter if it's an infantry unit, doesn't matter if it's a helicopter, a tank, or even a jet, if you're feeling lucky, fire this all over the place because eventually with time and with practice, you will start to understand how the mechanics work and you will eventually start to nail these shots. Uh, you will miss a lot, that is guaranteed. It will take some time and it will take some practice, but if you're in for the long haul and you, and you don't mind a couple of growing pains, it is an absolute blast and it is well worth the time investment. Uh, but that is about it for today's terrible weapon challenge. I hope you enjoyed. If you have a suggestion that you would like me to try next, let me know down below in the comments section and also make sure to thumbs up those loadouts so I know which ones to try. Uh, but until tomorrow, have a good one and take it easy.